Um, a lot of extensions got handed out. Was it two hundred and like fifty million dollars we've handed out to five players this off season? <laughs> right. <laughs> Devonte Adams, Derek Carr, money. Hunter Renfro, Chandler Jones. We've passed out some money. And one glaring guy who hasn't been given money, he ca- he's six foot six, so he casts a large shadow. Sure does. Darren Waller. Two years left on his deal. He will be the 17th highest paid tight end next season. As of right this second. No guaranteed money left. Two years left on his deal. Okay, so, can you zoom in on that? Jesus. No, we can't. Okay, well, there it is. Put your glasses on. Uh-huh. Uh, so let's say Darren Waller does get an extension. What does it look like? Should he get? I it? I think his his deal. Looking at the contracts that have been given out to players who are really good players on the team, the Davante Adams, the the Cars, the Chandler Jones, it's going to be a three to four year deal. It's going to be around the same money per year that George Kittle is getting, which is 15 per year. Mm-hmm. The reason I say that is two other guys in that top five have been paid after Kittle, and they didn't get paid more than Kittle. Now, if you take a look at that list between the top five and between Waller, nobody on that list is going to move that needle any. Nobody on that list is going to move the needle any. Yeah. Um, the only guy that can move the needle after uh, is going to be Cal Pitts, and he's not eligible for another two years to get extended. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I think I don't think there's a, a huge rush because I don't think anyone else on this list is going to reset the market past where Kittle already has it set. I, I almost feel like Injoku reset the market with how much he got and for how little production he delivers. Like his very best season of receiving yardage is worse than Darren Waller's worst season. Receiving mm-hmm. yardage. And now he's a top five paid tight end with $30 million guaranteed, $56 million deal, $14 million a year. Like that's. Yeah, I, I, I think it's going to be right around where I'm telling you, it's going to be right around where Kittle's going to get paid because if they're like, oh, yeah, well, we look at and Jogo got this much and he's not nearly as good. With, well, look at what Kittle's making. Yeah. You know, I mean, and no one's gotten close to it since. So. I think that's good. It's going to be around maybe probably a little, maybe a little bit more than Kittle because it's a newer contract and it's mm-hmm. like kind of a, a battle at the top to see who's, who's the best uh, tight end in the league, but no other, other player is going to reset that 15 million year. Well, first off, I think we wait a year before we pay him. He's got two yeah, years left in his deal. Yeah. Right. Like I said, he, no, one, no one's going to reset that. He's making market. several, he's making several mil, right? He, you know, he's not making what he deserves, but he's making several mil. I think we wait till either like late, late in the season or next off season, something like that before we move on him. Yeah. Um, also, he's no longer like he was, I think, clearly the best player on the team last season on paper. Like before we got hurt, like obviously his production wasn't the best. But I, if you say, hey, RJ, at the beginning of last season, who's the best player on the Raiders? I'm like, well, now that Rodney Hudson's been traded, I think it's Darren Waller. But now he's no longer gonna be like the best player on the team, right? Now he's going to share a lot. He's, he's going to share those. Uh, um, those targets with Devonte and a new pro baller and Hunter Renfro and Josh McDaniels likes throwing to running backs more, right? Yep. So it's mm-hmm. you know it's he may not have the same production as he did. Not Josh obviously. McDaniels does love his tight ends, man. He does love his tight ends, but he also loves his running backs. He also loves his slot receivers. And who's not going to love Devonte? Gronk. He made Gronk a star, man. He yeah, made Gronk a star. So yeah. I, I can I can definitely see him, you know, twiddling his fingers. Wanted to get his hands on on uh, on Waller, and it's not because of his dreamy eyes. And also, we've seen a lot of players take team friendly deals, right? Like the guys that truly got paid are the free agents, right? Chandler Jones and Devonte Adams. Those were the like mm-hmm. big money moves, right? Big big money moves for those two guys. Derek Carr, insanely team friendly. Yeah. Max Crosby, not a crazy contract. Like now, I think the thing is, I think what we're looking at here is contracts that aren't resetting the market. And we're we're thinking, oh yeah, that's a team friendly deal. Max Crosby got fucking paid, bro. He got fucking paid. He got paid, but he's like barely top five when he's you know. I mean, Dude, like, has he ever been top five production uh, in sacks or anything like that? Like he had a lot of pressures last year. That's great, but that's the first time he's done it. And there's not a lot of guaranteed money on his deal. Like a third that's, of his that, contracts guaranteed yeah, money. That, that's what I'm saying. Is so it's, it's like it, that's what I'm saying. Is Mac like the 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 homegrown boys? Haven't gotten crazy deals. Like Hunter Renfro's deal is pretty, I'd say below market for a pro bowl, pro bowler like it's, him. It, for him, it's about right. 
I think Max Crosby, it. obviously Derek's t- team friendly. So I'm wondering if like Darren Waller, they're gonna be like, hey, like, look, yeah, Carr did it. Hunter sort of did it. Max sort of did it. It's your turn, bro. Hey, the Raiders pulled you out of obscurity. You were wait, you were dying on the vine in the Ravens practice squad. So we found you and made you. And we paid you the first few games of your of like the first true season of, of you playing. Mm-hmm. I think there might be some of that as well. And the other part is if you go back to this list. I don't know if that's going to be a part of it because nobody that's going to be in the room talking to him was there when that happened. Yeah, but I would still try to use that as leverage. But look at this. Uh, the other thing that hurts him too is his age. Other than Kelsey, he's the oldest guy on this list basically. Like Taysom Hill's a quarterback, 32. Zach Ertz is – that's an old contract. He's retiring, right? He's, he's yeah. slowed down production a lot. Everyone else is under 30. Darren Waller will be 31 – next season so i think it's smart for the raiders to wait one because you're getting him for pennies and he's showing up and playing two he's one year older he'll get a three-year deal that's about it he'll get a very similar deal to like um either like a two-year extension after next year uh where they give him a lot of the guaranteed money up front uh i think it's the mark andrews i think it's the mark andrews contract 56 mil 14 mil a year that's four years man i don't think it's gonna work that's too many He's 30 years old already. I think he'll be, be, I think he'll be four. He'll be 31. It'll be three years. He's or do they do 31. two and keep him on par with everybody else? Right? Because if they give him, if it's they wait possible. till next season, give him yeah, a two-year deal. Two year thirty. That's as long as Hunt. That's as long as Hunter. That's as basically as long as Carr. As long as Chandler. Look, the the, the, the way I'm looking at it is is like this. Yeah, you're a great player, but you haven't won shit. Mm-hmm. Let's pay you lower let's pay you like the player that you are but realize you still haven't won shit yeah okay so let's get our winning ways together and now now we can then talk about resetting again Mm -hmm. because the thing is it's like a lot of like a lot of the fans out there are trying to be like well if he's a great player you, you gotta pay him and that's when that's when teams fuck themselves long term because just because he's a great player on my team doesn't mean he's going to be a break. He's a great player for the league. Well, that's when and, play, that's when fans fall in love with players. We need to fall in like with players. Exactly. Right? Like you got so you got to think that, like a good GM and not like a coach. That's why I think the Hunter Renfro contract was perfect. Mm-hmm. It was perfect. Like, you know what, Hunter? You balled out last year, but it was one year. You had similar circumstances in previous years, and you didn't ball out. So let's just. Wait and see. We're going to pay you. We're going to pay you more. We're going to pay you upfront money now, uh, guaranteed money upfront now. Um, so you're still going to get paid. You're still going to get a raise. You're still going to get a lot of money. But let's wait and see how the team does and see what we do from there. Congratulations for making it all the way to the end of our video. If you want Darren Waller to catch 20 touchdown passes next season and for Max Crosby to have 30 sacks, go ahead and subscribe and click the next video.